so today we're doing a special Mother's Day vlog, right, Megan? Yes, we are. And uh, we have a bunch of questions geared towards moms and life and children that Megan came up with. So we're going to start with those today. Megan, how important do you think a mother is to her children? So a mother has definitely a special bond between her and the children that she bears within, which is any one of us that could be her children. Megan, how would you describe your life and what does it mean to you? First of all, when you are born, life is given to you. So, when life is given to you, you get that from birth. And then, with that, when you see that child grow up, that is life. But life, you are supposed to live life. You has you have to live life the way that you want life to be. You have to live life the the way that you need it to be. How do you want your life? You are supposed to be living that life, and you're supposed to live life to the fullest potential. You know, and it is not up to any one of us, but it's up to you. And, it, and that what life is, according to you. It's your life. And Megan, how does your mom help you in your life? Well, um, she is always here for me. She is always here for me. She worries a lot about me. And she worries a lot about me because she loves me. You know, and I can go on and on about what my mom does for me. And she does a lot for me, more than you even know. And with that there is nothing special and beautiful in a mother and a child. So Megan, you mentioned that your mom worries a lot about you. And sometimes moms who have young children with Down syndrome worry about what's best for them too. So what advice do you have for moms who worry about their child with Down syndrome? You know, they only worry because they love you. And with that, that is my advice. They worry because they love you. So Megan, do you think that there's a possibility you'll be a mom someday? It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter if you have a disability. It doesn't, and we all have disabilities, which are something that we are not able to do, but then there are things that we are able to do. And with that, we know that we can be mothers, and we have every right to be mothers, you know? If we want to have children, we can have children. You know, it's like we have the right to vote or we have the right of freedom of speech. We have, you know, if we want to do something in life, we have the right to do that thing in life, you know. And that comes from our choices and our decisions that we make for ourselves that we have every right to make. You know, like, we have the right to feel and feel for who and whomever that we please, you know. So, if we want to be mothers, we have every right to be mothers, you know. But sometimes that is not reality. But we can still, you know, sometimes that is not a reality. And if that is not a reality, you still have the right to be a mother. If you want to be a mother or if you need to be a mother, you have every right to be a mother. And that, this is my video blog. And I am Megan. 
and please ask me questions and enjoy my video blog. I just want to say to my mom, thank you for giving birth to me. Without you, I would not be alive today. And know that I am alive today. It is because of you. And you do a lot for me. And you are always here for me. You are always there for me. Um, and just thank you for loving me.